This is my video entry to Patrick 1969's uh, entry for the contest. Hoping to win a Robot Spirits as I don't have one yet. But some things I want to talk about. Number one, about why Gundam is awesome, is the characters. Which is the reason Zeta is standing up here. Well, that's Saku Zeta, so you can tell. Which is cooler than Zeta, but anyway. Their development of characters is so amazing that I was physically mad when Four Murasame died um, because Jared's a douchebag. But yeah, their, their character development is amazing. No one character or no two characters are the same. Their uh, backstories are really good. Um, some of the characters you hate, like Bicha, because they make him out to be an annoying like dweeb pretty much and like I said and then you love some characters like Four to me was one of the best developed characters out there and then she died and I was that's the first time I actually got mad at like an animated show and I look back and it's kind of funny but I did actually get mad so that's my first reason the character development's amazing and each character is different. Amuro's whiny and complaining because he has a lot on his plate. And Shar has a lot on his plate, but he deals with it and gets over it. So you've got two completely different sides of dealing with stuff. Second reason is the mechanics. You can't get a better design than a Zaku 2. I mean, they... Like, some of their mechanics are based off of real life things like... If you, really, if you really look at it, the gear of Zulu, does that not remind you of a World War II soldier? He's even got the German stick grenades. And he's got the helmet. The only thing he's missing is a little spike on it. And just how bulky he is and the insignias and stuff on him. Just, it just reminds me of like World War II and real life events. And then you get some original designs such as... Like, GPO-2, which is amazing because he's super, super bulky, but yet he isn't so bulky that it looks stupid. Like, it looks amazing just because, you know, he it explains why he's built like that. And same thing with New Gundam and Sosby, because they had to use, like, the Psycho frames and why Wing looks the way he does because he has transformed into a jet. All of their designs reflect their era. Like, if you look at these guys, really, do they not look like ground warfare? Because, 8th MS team, they were just that, ground warfare. And they were in the desert and like ravines and crap like that. And the spacesuits, you could tell were spacesuits because of their thrusters and all that. And the Zommel is not a rugged tank. Let's go back over here. And my third reason why Gundam is awesome is the story. Nowadays, a lot of the video games and movies and animated series and crap like that is lacking in plot or plot holes galore. I recently watched Lake Placid 3 and Piranhas and horrible because the plot just was terrible and there's so many plot holes. But Gundam, I don't think I've ever found a plot hole. And if there's something it doesn't explain, Google it. I guarantee you they made a Mobile Suit Variations manga to explain it. Like, I bet a lot of people don't even know about the White Dingo, GM Sniper 2. I believe he was stationed in Australia. And a lot of people, I'm sure, don't know, you know, Char's backstory whenever um, Haman was still like a little kid and he pretty much babysat her. Um, and like I said, the story's just really good. Each series, the story is unique and like the UC era, they all intertwine, and Unicorn, already, only in episode 2, explains so much and has so many, like, uh, 
fan favors in it that it's unbelievable. Um, I guess kind of going back to my second reason, which is like the mechanics, designs, and stuff. You can tell when someone tries to copy Gundam. Like, there's all sorts of other like uh, mecha series, like uh, Douche of the Rebellion. You know, Code Geass. There's Mazinger Z, Transformers, and all that type of mess, but none as cool as Gundam. And the ones that try to steal the Gundam, you can tell. Like that one Korean ripoff where it had Amuro was actually like Char and it's just all messed up. It's actually in my favorites on my channel because it's hilarious. But if they try to rip off the characters in the suits, you know right away. But those... There's a lot to be said with Gundam, and just, like, the customizability, like, if that's really an actual term, like, right there, that's just something I threw together real quick, but it's something that could just as well be in a series, because, like, he's a perfect example, I believe, uh, Double Zeta? The Zeta's head got, uh, was either, like, shot off or kicked off. It's been a while. And they didn't have supplies, so they had to replace it with a Zaku head. Which, going back over here, hey, Yuk. Anyway, they, the mess team, their supplies were running low. And EZ-8 was actually made out of, like, tank parts and RX-79 parts and repainted and yada, 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 because it's... That's another thing, Gundam's, you know, as realistic as giant mechas and melting people from their waist down and stuff like that, as realistic as that gets, Gundam is the most realistic. Because, just, some of the things I just listed, all that could happen in real life. Or like, in space. The reason there's an Azaku 2 and Azaku 2 like J-type, there's an MS-06F and an MS-06J. Because when they went into space, they're just kind of... Oh, geez, we're going to get owned. So, thus was born the MS-06J. Or other way around, I don't really care. But where they had enhanced thrusters, thrusters on the back of their legs, and, uh, and just other additions so they'd be suited for space. And the corruption is another thing that has to do with the story. That is an element that is amazing. Zombies, as far as we know, are extremely corrupt. And, um, rap. Ina's brother, Guineas. Genius was extremely corrupt and ended up like trying to kill Shiro and her with the Obsolus 3, I think it was. Uh, there's a lot, I mean, a lot of corruption. Federation's corrupt, the Titans from Zeta. There's a lot of corruption. And another thing I love the good guys and the bad guys aren't who you think they are. There's so many good plot twists and such that. You think at first watching 0079, Federation's good guys, Eon's bad guys, pretty self explanatory storyline. Wrong. From what I've gotten so far, Federation's corrupt douchebags, and Zeon is just fighting to survive, pretty much. And variations, there's so many mangas that keep you up to date with what's going on, like Full Armor, never from a series, from a manga. Why? Because he's awesome. That's why. Um, those reasons why Gundam is awesome. And you can do anything based off of them, like my glass etching with the Goof Custom. Ooh. Well, that's my video and my reasons why Gundam is awesome. Um, hopefully, I can win your contest, Patrick. Because I really want to get a hold of one of those robot uh, Tamashi or robot spirits. Well, thank you for the opportunity, even if I lose. Thanks for watching. Gun Collector, out.